buffer. Uh, I'm recording. Oh, you're recording? Yeah. Yes. Yes, in case. So then, then it just comes up with um, instructions, wash. So if you just arrow up or down, you can decide what you want to do. If you want to change the wash parameters, and then the wash parameters uh, sets the times of soaks and so on. But there's already should already have some preset. Uh -huh. Have a look at the ones that are preset, uh -huh. and if you don't like them, then we can we can we can fit all of them. There are a set of instructions somewhere. So that if, that if you're happy with what we we use, yep. then just use what we use, whatever's in there. Okay. So at the moment, I'm just going to keep going. Rinse is something you need to do between if you've got buffers and water. So always have a rinse. The rinse is always water usually. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you've got your buffer. Yep. So if you're changing buffers or at the end of the day, always rinse. Okay. What because if, if we you don't, don't rinse, oh. then the salt will just precipitate in the lines and block the lines. Oh, okay. So okay. it doesn't matter how many. If we, at the end of the day? At the end of the day. Beginning of the run? Yep. Always rinse with water. Rinse with water. Yeah. Yeah. Even if we only use one buffer. Only if you use one buffer. Yeah. Because it's also important that you actually check to make sure it's functioning. Um, it's also important that you, you check that it's all functioning, okay? Because what happens is this is each of these. Okay, so uh -huh. this has got this is double set. Yep. One squirts the water, the thin one, and this one sucks up. Oh, okay. And either of those can get blocked. Yeah. Yep. Either the sucker or the squirter. Yeah. Okay. So that what you'll see is if you're doing a, a wash and only some of the wells are filled up, filled up, then you just need a, a tool to clean. And what do you, what we use for a tool is an old. Well, there's a spare one somewhere. There isn't. Plenty at home. That could be that could be. So one of these, okay? Two. I've got some. I've got some to uh, I can let you have one. I can let you have this one. So basically, all you need to do if it's blocked up is just to um, put that in there like and do that. Oh, okay. okay. Easy. I think this is probably not. This shouldn't be blocked. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just we're going to play with it at the moment. But make sure that it won't work if it's not. It's sealed or through. Oh, okay. So you've got to make sure that it... And I didn't give you one of these, but you've got... I've got a smaller, a, yeah, one, right? smaller bottle, So the yeah. small one, you've got to keep remembering to empty it. Uh-huh. Um, don't overfill it, because if, it if it gets solutions through it, you're going to stuff up the machine and also okay. your assay. All right. Okay. So this is the rinse cycle. So all you've got to do is just press start, okay? And that'll rinse. Mm -hmm. So you can hear it, actually hear it when it changes in a moment. It'll change in a moment when you can actually put some... Oh, okay, so it's not see, see it's not rinsing, okay? It's not sucking up. So something's not quite sealed properly. And you know what? Here it is. I can see already oh. that this has been disconnected somewhere. Yeah, so this goes to here. Okay. Okay, so that's easy. With these set. But I could tell straight away that it wasn't. Oh okay. it starts squirting everywhere that it's obviously not sealed through, okay? So I'm just going to sorry, stop. Okay, it's a story. You forget about that. Once you go through, you've got to go through until you, oh, until you stop. Okay. okay. So I'm going to rinse, and it should suck. No. We haven't used it for a while. We've been using it. Oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> ah. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> it needs to be all sealed up. Okay. So if, there's a, if it's not sealed up, it won't work. Okay. So, try that again. So, I'll oh, get it there. So, Anna, you're running the headphones, are Yes, I'll just press it this time. Lucky last. Okay, now it's sucking. It's not spilling everywhere, right? Okay. So, you just run the rinse cycle. Mm -hmm. um, we usually give it three or four weeks. Beginning of the middle of the day. Okay, and so each, each rinse cycle is about 10 seconds. Okay. And you know, obviously, the longer you leave it, the more you wait. You also give it a rinse cycle when you start the buffer. And what you've got to do is you've got to basically climb the line. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. Because otherwise, if you've got water, you're going to. Yeah, so, so you initially, you rinse, yep. you're just going to put water through yes. the Eliza or assay, right? Yeah, yeah. So now I'm pretending that I've. 
So what I've done is I've rinsed the water. Yeah. Done it four times. And change it to, to a clean. buffer. I've changed it to the buffer. Yeah. And now before I use it, I'm going to rinse again. So just yeah. arrow down till you get rinse. Okay. And then once you've rinsed through at least one load of buffer, that should be fine because the pink line will all be primed up. Yeah. So now stop it. So now I can wash. So with the wash, um, we use wash cycle seven. Mm -hmm. The other one should be set up the same. If there isn't a problem, just try wash cycle seven uh -huh. and let's see what it does and see yeah. if it's a, a problem for you. So I'm going to wash cycle seven. Basically, just says that it, it squirts uh, so many seconds, um, rinses so many. I'll show you. So we're just going to do wash cycle seven. Here's how many cycles you want. So three or four cycles or one cycle. Oh, okay. okay. So you wash and it clears it. How many it. cycles? Uh, so yeah. I'm going to do three cycles and then the number of strips. Okay. Unless you've got, if you've yeah. got, it's important if you're only doing partial strips. You put it. You make sure you put it. Right. Otherwise, you'll just. Build, yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you've got a full plate, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But if you only got half, then you're just wasting time and yeah. buffer. So I'm going to say 12 strips because we usually run full plates. Yeah. So that says yes, and at this stage you can escape. Okay. And the other side you can't escape. Yeah. Okay. So if you pick accidentally pick wash, just go through it until you get to here, and then you can stop, press stop. Oh, okay. Because if you press wash and then you try and escape from here, yeah, it's just all it does is just you can't because it's just going to keep changing yeah. things. So it's just so uh, you just got to go through it until you get to there and then say stop. So I'm going to wash seven uh, cycle seven, three cycles, twelve strips, and yes, and then you confirm here. Yes. So this is where you can stop or where you confirm. So what it does then is it's going to do twelve strips, yep. three cycle wash cycles. So what it does at the moment is it's building up pressure oh, okay. to make sure it's got enough pressure in the system. Uh -huh. We can we can shortcut and just press yes and that'll bypass it. And, oh, okay. and then this is cycle seven, which basically fills it up and sucks up just a little bit. Okay. okay. And you can see by the by the well that this is actually working quite well. Everything's lined up and um, and pretty okay. uh, good. And at the end of the three cycles, it'll come up and I like, spray. All right. So there won't be any fuel left. Yeah. So, yeah, so when you're doing it, try wash cycle seven. Uh -huh. And just change the number of strips and the uh -huh. number of cycles to suit. So if your assay says wash four times, then four cycles. Yeah. If you're only using six strips, then just six strips. Six, yeah. So just try, try with wash cycle seven, which is the one outstanding yep. before, which is basically you know how that's sort of like hitting the bottom of the plate? Yeah. Is that going to be a problem or? No. Okay. No. No. Oh, you're not doing cells, are you? No, just no. Eliza. No, but just, just, just not, you're not doing cells in your... No, 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 no. 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 Straight, straight, like, you know, antibody. Yeah. Yeah. I see it's the last side where it sucks up. Yeah. And there shouldn't be much left. Okay. But what we do at the end of our assays is actually just um, give it a tap, give still? it a tap on the bench you know, to get okay. rid of everything. But there's not much left. Okay, there's uh, a little bit yeah. because it's sucking up from this corner. Yeah. So it's got a little bit there, and then all we do is just do that. Okay. And it's empty. Okay. Okay. Cool. So that's it in a nutshell, and then you just basically empty, empty. it by you know taking yeah. it off, just pouring it out, and then rinsing your bottles every so often. Yeah. Uh, so the only other thing, apart from wash. Wash parameters which don't uh, don't fit on unless you're not happy with the thing. Mm -hmm. I'll show you what it is. Basically, go there and it tells you what uh, it is, and then it tells you what basic procedure, which is 80. You can change the basic procedure. It's in the manual. Oh, okay, what right, the basic right. procedure is, yeah. and the plate mode, which will change it like it's a 96 well plate versus some yeah. other things. So we're leaving it at 96 well plate, yeah. and then soak time. So at the moment, it's got no soak time. Yeah. Soak time, you can make it 10 seconds. It means that it adds, then it leaves 10 seconds. Okay, adds, it just can make right. it longer. You don't want to do that unless you want to. And then wash t uh, time is uh, how long it takes to wash the plate. Yeah, okay. Okay? So 20 seconds. Um, and that's it. Okay, sounds right. good. Uh, then the only other thing, that's it, isn't it? So I think this is only wash. Sorry. There's only wash, wash parameters, rinse, and adjust. So the adjust is when if you, if you think that there's a problem with the position. Oh, okay. So don't fiddle with it unless there's a problem oh, right. with the position. And then I'll, I'll, you know, I'll walk you through that if you have to. Okay. And that's it, I think. Sounds good. So yeah, there's only four those. There's only four choices. Okay. So basically, you're only ever going to use yeah. rinse and wash. Rinse and wash. Yeah. yeah. Adjust and wash parameters. You will use only when you want to set up a new assay. If mm. you, if the assay, if the pr protocol you're using is not working. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah.
uh, and that's it. And the, uh, uh, the only other thing I remember is that I said that the arrows are the wrong way. Yeah. So, hold on, let's go back over here. No, it's so wash. Going uh, the right way. Yeah, no. So, seven. Yeah. If you go down, it should be six. The same. Oh, okay. okay. Got it. So, it's just yeah, got it. the wrong way. Okay. But other than that, it should be okay. Three cycles, again, if you go down, you expect to go two, but it actually goes to four. Four. All right. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. All right, thanks, Emmanuel. That's it. That's it. You want that? You can have that.